You're stuffing a newborn animal into the birth casing of another animal. Does nobody see how weird that is and so twisted? <laughs> Creatures, it's Em, and welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, welcome. My name's Em. I'm a former zookeeper and I'm a digital animal educator. If you haven't already, remember to hit that subscribe button down below, become part of the Creature Crew, and also hit that notification bell down in the corner there so you don't miss a single upload. Today's video is sponsored by nobody. It's me, self-funded. <laughs> If you wanted to help support this channel in another way, you can do that by purchasing my merchandise through the link in my description box below. There are sets, there is athleisure, there are also hats. Wow, look at that! I happen to be wearing one of my hats. <laughs> Dobby, what do you think of Mummy's hat? Are you gonna stash it and steal it? I thought so. For links to my merch store, my best-selling book, or even for Zen Habitats, which are the amazing reptile closures I use for all of my reptiles, feel free to go down into my description box below and you'll find links to all of those products. The video that I'm going to be reacting to today is the most requested video I have ever been sent in the history of my pet YouTuber react series. And normally on this series, per episode, I can cover, you know, five or six different clips. However, today I'm going to be focusing on one particular clip which focuses on a rabbit giving birth. The reason I'm focusing on this one particular clip is actually because it has opened the door to a series of copycat clips and they're all very damaging and problematic in their own way. It's very important that if you come across these clips, number one, don't engage with them. No likes, no comments, because that promotes them to a wider audience. Instead, simply just report them to the platform on which you're viewing them. And this is your last chance to exit the video if you don't want to watch. Um, however, if you do stay, I would love to know your comments, thoughts, and feedback. You can do that by leaving a comment down below. Okay, so we're gonna take a journey down the rabbit hole, if you'll excuse the pun, and have a look at the clip which has been sent to me no less than a hundred times. A hundred times. Let's roll the clip. Um, first of all, this rabbit is not truly giving birth. This rabbit is not kindling. Kindling is the correct term for a rabbit when it is giving birth, but we can tell that this rabbit is not truly kindling. Uh, and the reason why is because, number one, uh, they are a placental mammal, and as such, when they give birth, it's gonna be messy. It, it's a lot like a human birth. There's gonna be blood, there's gonna be mucus, there's going to be placenta, um, and these babies should be covered in this by the time they're coming out and straight away the mother will start to clean the babies so they don't smell like blood and attract predators. Um, these babies have already been cleaned, whether by the mother um, or by the humans in this, uh, in this video, I don't know. But this is certainly not the way that a rabbit kindles or gives birth. Um, the babies would also never uh, emerge in such a cluster like that. That would be hugely, hugely painful. So this is a completely fabricated uh, video here, which is designed to make people think that this rabbit is truly giving birth. The way that this mother rabbit is suspended will be extremely uncomfortable for her. If this is indeed the mother rabbit, which I cannot confirm, but it, it seems that she would be, um, the way that she's being held, for starters, without any kind of support um, on, under her lower back or her, her back legs is extremely uh, uncomfortable for her. Never mind the fact that she has just given birth. She will be in a lot of pain and she needs rest and time to bond with her babies. Speaking of which, to bond with her babies, she needs to be able to be left alone with them so that she can give them her first milk. These babies are obviously very, very young. They need their mother's first milk. It's imperative to them actually building antibodies because the first milk contains something called colostrum. Um, it's produced by all placental mammals, they all produce colostrum, um, and this helps to guard the babies against any kind of uh, bacteria that might enter their bodies, and it just gives them an extra fighting chance. Uh, a lot of um, animals that co go into rescues um, are lacking in colostrum if they have been abandoned by their mothers. Um, these animals don't always have the best survival rate. Um, you can actually buy colostrum, powdered colostrum, um, but uh, it's, it's never as good as the real thing. So these babies should really be left alone to drink their mother's milk. I cannot fathom how the creator of this particular video thought that it was in any way okay to 
suspend a mother rabbit after she has just given birth to what looks like a very large litter and then to allow those tiny newborn kittens to fall from a height which could seriously injure them. Normally when you are raising rabbits you don't touch them for at least the first month of their life and even then they're still extremely delicate and handling needs to be kept to a bare minimum and extremely gently and normally just to check a rabbit over to make sure that they are healthy, you know, maybe a vet checkup. But this kind of gross negligence is, is, in my opinion, extremely cruel. Extremely. And these babies are not holding on to their mother under their own steam. They're not holding on to her at all, actually. What I think is happening here is the human who... I can't even talk about the human. I think they are holding the mother rabbit like this with her legs dangling down. And I think what they, do, what they have is the kittens in their other hand, which is positioned behind the mother rabbit. And they are willfully dropping them at intervals to make it look like some kind of birth that they've caught on camera which to me just adds to the level of cruelty because they're physically making the choice to drop these rabbits. It's sick, there's no other way to put it, it's sick. And come to think of it, this is a lot of offspring for one mother rabbit. The average litter size is usually about five to seven, depending on the breed of rabbit. This looks like a lot more than that. I, I think I counted 14, which makes me think that this is potentially two or maybe even three distinct litters. I have no proof of that. However, if that is the case, that is even more grossly negligent because mother rabbits do not want to have any other smell other than their own smell, their baby smell, and the nest smell on their babies. It can cause them to abandon their babies and even eat them in extreme circumstances. And none of these kittens are marked. This human potentially doesn't even care that they have been mixing litters and have no possible way of telling which baby came from which mother, which means that when these babies go back to their mothers, one, they could be spreading disease, two, they will be taking a foreign smell back to the nest which could cause the mother rabbit to abandon the babies or even eat them. So this clip is massively problematic. Massively so. And really that's where I was hoping to be able to end today's video, but no, 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 no. It gets worse because there are copycat videos. Say it with me. Copycat videos. As in people watch this clip and thought, hey, that got a lot of views. I'm gonna do it too. And they did it worse worse. So if you wanted to uh, leave a comment and exit now, feel free to do that. Again, you're not going to be seeing anything particularly violent or gory. It's just frustrating and deeply disappointing. Uh, so let's roll this next clip and then the next and then the next and then the next. We can see someone trying to fake this rabbit giving birth. Uh, but what I can say straight away is these babies are not newborns. They are a couple of days old. They've got a bit more fur on them. And again, here what we're seeing is multiple litters. I don't know if these are fur farms or rabbit farms or private breeders. I don't know anything about them. And I honestly, I don't want to try and dig to find out because it is, is very upsetting for me. Again, they're holding a rabbit in what is a most unnatural position and then popping to three months later, look how many rabbits. So I'm thinking this might be a rabbit meat farm. They certainly don't seem to be treating their animals with any kind of dignity whatsoever. That one just is not even as bad as, as the next one. So again, here is another copycat that we can see. And again, this has got to be maybe four or five individual litters all crammed together. And again, holding a rabbit up in an extremely um, uncomfortable position. And again, dropping the uh, kittens from an even higher height than what we saw in the original clip. This is just so... So unsettling to me. Uh, you can actually tell that some of these rabbits are older than the rabbits at the back. Uh, so I'm going to say that this is five or six individual litters, which is not okay. This next clip is from an even larger height, and I just can't understand how anyone thinks that this is okay. That that 
kitten is literally just suspended there for the longest time before it falls. And all animals are born with a fear of falling. These rabbits haven't even opened their eyes yet and they're already being subjected to this kind of treatment uh, when they're, they're completely defenseless. I just don't understand how anybody could watch these clips and share them thinking that they're entertaining or that it's a real birth. Look carefully at these kittens. They are furred. And now we just go completely bizarre. Whether people are gullible enough or not, um, or just not as educated on animals and biology, I don't know. Um, but what really angers me about this particular clip um, is, we'll see the babies in a moment, but look at the way that this rabbit is being held. You never hold a rabbit up by the ears. You don't do that. They are so sensitive and you can permanently damage the, the rabbit's ears if you do that. I know that in cartoons of yesteryear, you used to see people holding up rabbits by their ears. This is so horrifically painful. Please don't ever do that. That is never the way that you should hold a rabbit. This is the correct way to hold a rabbit. Please support their weight. Do not put strain on stress on their lower backs because they can break very easily as well as their ears. Their ears are so sensitive and so delicate. So okay, they're holding the rabbit in a horrible position. Yes, they have supported the back legs but that's that's a moot point um, and, and they're essentially trying to make it look like this rabbit is giving birth to a gargantuan egg which once again you can see is some sleight of hand. They're just pushing it through uh, the, the bricks. Um, now you might think, big deal, it's just a, a fake egg. Well, what happens next um, is we can see that they then break the shell of the egg and miraculously there are kittens inside the egg. So, not only are they taking multiple litters and subjecting the mother to horrible treatment, which is very uncomfortable in a very unnatural position, they're taking away vulnerable kittens, which probably have not had a good meal in quite some time, and they're sticking them inside a shell and then cracking it open. This could be so damaging in so many ways. Number one, it could damage their hearing because uh, rabbits like to have a nice quiet nest as they um, develop their, their, um, their oral muscles, oral as an ear. Um, and uh, and they haven't even opened their ears or their eyes, nothing like that. It could be damaging. And uh, not only that, but I don't know what material this is. It looks very, very sharp, maybe some kind of plaster or something. Um, and if the, the kittens are crawling all over it, it's potentially covering them in what might be a toxic substance. I don't know what is holding it together. Um, it's not a normal egg. Um, and it could also be sharp, you know? Uh, Little little kittens want to wriggle, um, and they could be wriggling all over these sharp um, sharp edges of the the egg. So that is again a horrible clip in so many ways. The fact that this even came into anybody's head, I don't know the logic behind it. What they're trying to show Easter, like maybe the Easter bunny with the egg. I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is a serious video. This is a serious video, you, you have to calm down. Everybody has to calm down. And then this next clip, they decided to take it to another level again, um, and they put a uh, the head of a baby rabbit inside an egg, uh, a legit egg. It looks like maybe some kind of chicken or duck egg. Um, but what I can see, if you look really closely, is the baby is not completely trapped on the inside. You can see right here the, the the leg of the kitten at the back there, but still, you're stuffing a newborn animal into the birth casing of another animal. Does nobody see how weird that is and so twisted? And finally, we come on to the last problematic clip. I say the last problematic clip because we're gonna end with some nice rabbit videos because we cannot end this video like this. It will not end like this, but we have one more to go through. And again, multiple litters. Let's just, let's just roll the clip. Again, all the points I've made before about the multiple litters, the rabbit being suspended in midair, and then babies being dropped from quite a height with eggshells on their heads. Somebody took the time to stuff rabbit kittens' heads into eggs.
you know, I try and give people the benefit of the doubt. Okay, someone mishandled an animal and they got bitten, they learnt their lesson, maybe they improved. Okay, so this person shaved their husky, they maybe didn't realise they're not supposed to shave a double-coated breed, maybe they won't do it again, or maybe it's for medical reasons, but this is just inexcusable. This is just just greedy and selfish and so cruel. And the fact that they are continuing over and over, if it's the same person, to just create the same video because it might have been popular, doesn't, it just, it, I don't understand how you can do that and think it's in any way okay for these animals. And I really hope that they're okay and I really hope that Instagram and TikTok um, do their duty and take down these clips. I've reported them multiple times, I've reached out through their customer service, I haven't heard anything back yet. This is just wrong. And um, I know that I have this series and sometimes I have to take submissions that I don't often like to see, but this really was difficult to watch, especially realizing how many copycat pieces of content there were out there um, and how many people thought that this was legitimately how rabbits give birth and that it was cute. Uh, so um, thank you for sending it in. I hate it, <laughs> but thanks. What did you guys think of today's clips? Do you think I am overreacting? Did you see anything I might have missed? What are your thoughts and analysis of, of these individual clips? Leave a comment in the comment section below. And now, just so that we end on a positive, because that was a lot, let's look at a very unproblematic, very cute rabbit clip. Stop it. Stop it now. Look at them. Oh. I can't. I'm actually, I'm actually welling up because they are so cute and so innocent and they're just having the best time ever. You eat those dandelions. You do your thing. You deserve them. You just munch away and, and become the, the goodest boys and girls ever. Yup, there we go. My eyeliner is going to run. They're just so cute. And if I had to choose a favorite out of these three gorgeous, gorgeous kittens, it would be this one. Look at him, he's just a miniature thundercloud, a miniature void. I think it's because he reminds me of my dog keeper. I think that that's what that is. Which one would you pick? Tell me in a comment down below. And that is it for today. I hope that you in some way managed to enjoy this video, whether it was um, increasing your analytical skills um, or learning something different about rabbits. If you have a submission for me, a video that you'd like me to react to, definitely go ahead and slide on into my Instagram DMs. If you don't know my Instagram, it's at exoticofficial. Thank you again all so much for watching. I will see you in another video soon. Bye.